Our next laboratory exercise L80 is covering uh, user recent activity in just module in autopsy. So the first step here would be to uh, reopen the case. And let it load. And uh, of course, so we're going to run in just uh, new in just module. So let's uh, click on the data sources, go back to our data source, go to run in just modules. And when the wizard is opening, uh, we're going to uh, configure recent uh, activity. Okay, so just uh, make sure that you unselect all, all other modules. So it's simple to click deselect all, and we're going to start with the recent activity. There are no additional settings uh, for this uh, module, so we're just going to st say finish after making our selection and uh, just to wait for this to complete. Um, and uh, you can see that. Uh, uh, the results uh, are populated with extracted content, and this is where, uh, in this area, in the extracted content, uh, the specific module, recent activity, um, is uh, depositing its uh, result while going through uh, the image uh, that we have as our data source. So to be able to answer the following questions, questions, which is the objective, uh, set of objectives in our laboratory exercise here. We just have to wait for this uh, module to finish uh, and uh, we'll just move along through, uh, through the content here. So once the module uh, is uh, processed um, and uh, all the steps are complete, you can see that this is an incredibly broad scope of uh, different types of artifacts that are being gathered and analyzed by this module. So it ranges from uh, various types of uh, web um, activity by the user, including uh, recent bookmarks, uh, cached web pages, uh, the cookies that websites are setting on a local computer, um, information about user downloads um, and the form. Uh, so it's just plenty of uh, information right here uh, to be analyzed. We also get information about user accounts, and that comes from the registry. Uh, that, that is coming from Windows registry, which contains uh, configuration for both system and uh, uh, information about uh, registered users. So operating information, operating system information is also populated right here. So let's uh, get started with our uh, series of questions related to this uh, uh, module. So how many web bookmarks were found? Of course, you can uh, see that these are the bookmarks uh, that were uh, found here. And the bookmark, of course, uh, comes with uh, information about uh, the actual URL that was bookmarked, uh, the title of the page, um, then the date when it was created, the name of the program, because of course we can have multiple web browsers used by the user, um, and also what is the domain of the URL. So this is just like a major domain of the URL that was used. And uh, uh, what uh, URL is a suspicious bookmark given the dog napping? Okay, so we of course have uh, uh, the dog napping case uh, where the dog was stolen. And uh, so here uh, we we uh, we can see that there are uh, different websites. So I'll let you pick the one that you would think uh, could be a little bit suspicious in this case. So we just uh, worth uh, noting uh, that specific bookmark. And what day are the cookies associated with the domain YouTube.com uh, are from? All right. So the next uh, uh, area to um, click on is uh, the web cookies. So the web cookies are uh, uh, tiny files that are deposited by the browser uh, by, on request by the web website. Okay. So then when the user continues to browse the, the, the web um, and visiting other websites, uh, those websites may be requesting these cookies back from the browser. So in the cases where the user allows third 
party cookies to be uh, available and then if you uh, say uh, visit uh, uh, walmart.com uh, it may create a cookie and then you go to a different website uh, such as costco.com and uh, costco.com could an ask the browser for the walmart cookies so that's called third-party cookies so i recommend that you disable uh, third-party cookies because they just simply mm, you know they're ad advertised as uh, Im improving your uh, user experience but in reality it's a huge tracking uh, potential tool uh, to uh, um, to track your activities and your activities uh, on the web so anyway so cookies uh, contain of course the url uh, from the source uh, they contain date and time just as any other file would have uh, and uh, internally uh, the structure of the cookie is just the name and the value so it's a very simple file that essentially says okay so this is the the name and then it sets the value so you can see that uh, right here uh, some of the values are empty which means only the name is set like a key but uh, other cookies do have the uh, uh, the values uh, set for them so this is the structure of the cookie and of course because the browser actually is the source uh, of of the cookie being deposited on the user system information about uh, the browser is also uh, available uh, which is basically the program name uh, that was used uh, for creation of this cookie so uh yeah and uh, if you want to um, analyze uh, association with specific uh, uh, user domain of course uh, it would be advisable to just click on the domain uh, column to be able to sort by the domain and now you can see that it's alphabetically sorted and uh, in on, on, in my view right here uh, so you can see how many of these uh, YouTube uh, cookies were set uh, inside the Chrome browser and you can count these and specify uh, your answer and so what 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 are the cookies associated with the domain youtube and uh, so i'll let you analyze this so these are the cookies um, and uh, basically we have uh, certain uh, information here available and you see that uh, they all have the same um, the same date um, and um, for simplicity i just typically uh, you know you can you can either go to the results uh, tab or possibly the metadata uh, to to extract information about the cookie file itself but in this case i'm assuming that we're looking at the actual date time uh, of the cookie setting so this would be found right here so you just have to copy it uh, from here and paste this uh, as your answer right so this is a good, this would be a very typical approach to uh, collect the information from autopsy reporting and what is the value associated with the name identification under web form autofill so another area of uh, web artifacts available within the, within autopsy is the uh, form autofill so what what the browser knows about user answers and pro and provides as potential um, automatic uh, prompts for filling in the forms so we have uh, this is the um, um, identifier uh, right here uh, so you can again go to the results view and copy the value uh, set here by simply just going to copy it from here so this would be the way I would approach uh, uh, getting the answers from um, autopsy case and under web history which is another very interesting area you can see that there's lots of results and the history what they were the uh, following Google searches performed so here um, uh, we can again scroll uh, to the right right here and uh, you can see that uh, the browser stores uh, plenty of uh, uh, web uh, browsing history information that includes uh, the target URL the refer URL otherwise the URL from where uh, the user came from 
uh, and the titles of web pages for quick uh, lookup on different types of uh, um, web websites that were visited by the user. So the web history uh, and then web search. So these are the uh, word, uh, searches and uh, same type of arrangement. Uh, we're just looking at uh, uh, program names that was used and the actual text that was uh, used uh, for a query. So uh, in order to locate quickly um, uh, specific types of searches, uh, you can just uh, uh, sort by the, the text of the search. And uh, I guess I'll try to resort it uh, in the descending order like this. Hmm. Okay, um, so uh, yeah, uh, how to make a ransom note? Um, uh, what day were the following Google searches performed? Uh, so we uh, we can see that uh, the day axis is present here, uh, and this is. Uh, uh, the date is right here, so we can uh, date access. To, uh, we can use this date access date to copy our answer from. Okay, so then the second how to make a ransom note. Oh, actually, this was the the ransom note. Sorry about that. Um, and uh, the second uh, uh, search how to treat a dog bite. So let's uh, try to find this one, and let's just uh, again search by text. Yeah, so this is uh, three times it was tried, and again this was uh, done on a specific date. So that would indicate uh, perhaps some relevancy to the case uh, with dog napping as well. So these are um, these are the answers uh, as far as I can locate them uh, in my uh, web search. Uh, information extracted by our module. Information about non-virtual machine USB devices attached to the system. So that information is actually coming from Windows registry. So whenever uh, the user inserts uh, the, U, uh, the USB drive into the system, the information is stored. So we have uh, USB devices attached right here. And you can see that uh, we have plenty of information about this. The device makes, device models are all available right here. So I'll just uh, uh, let you pick your answers from, from this area. Once again, you can just uh, uh, click on the item and it's very easy to uh, get information uh, from, uh, from the results area. Now let's uh, take a look at the user accounts uh, available on the system. So the user accounts are uh, under, again, under extracted content. And so we have the, um, the, the accounts associated with web forms and uh, uh, using, uh, using these accounts on LinkedIn uh, in and uh, um, uh, Twitter. Uh, but uh, the operating system information is also extracted and there are accounts right here. So some of these accounts are uh, system accounts like administrator, guest, uh, the default uh, user account. Uh, but uh, clearly uh, this is the account that was used by the, uh, by the person using the computer. And again, in the results area, we can uh, find out what is the username uh, associated uh, with it and so forth. So obviously uh, the creation date of this account is also available, which is also very uh, important information for constructing the timeline of the computer uh, that we're using here. And for the Twitter information, we have it listed under accounts. Again, uh, it's consistent and it's the same username. Uh, web history. One more time. Let's just go back to web history that we already were looking at. And we can scroll uh, over here once again to the um, to the titles of web pages. Sometimes you can find this information right here in this column. Uh, but um, I believe this is something to deal with uh, Google search. So let's just take a look at the Google search. And here uh, the information is hostage negotiation tactics. 
right so the, this is actually uh, not web history but again another item in the web search and what's the date right so you just interested what date uh, the search was performed on and of course again uh, in the results area you have the date that you can uh, copy from and uh, provide the answer Uh, another important part of uh, this module is to uh, perform the analysis of the recycled bin, which is uh, also uh, giving us uh, uh, interesting data about uh, uh, recent activity by the user. So the recycled bin has actually uh, added to the extracted content in the results area. So right here we have uh, recycled bin content. Um, and uh, of course uh, uh, these are the items that are stored there and uh, those are the original locations of these items so recycled bin items are given specific uh, names uh, that begin with begin with the dollar r and then uh, obfuscated name with the same extension so autopsy uh, is parsing the um, associated manifest file uh, with uh, that uh, pertaining this information and uh, knows uh, where the uh, the file uh, is coming from so that uh, provides all of this additional information available here and so we have this uh, deleted file entry in the, the uh, in the location where the file was originally created so if we navigate for instance to uh, uh, the uh, source file in the directory right here you can see that uh, the recycled bin here belongs to a specific volume on the system um, and uh, this is uh, also a way, way to access the recycled bin multiple volumes of course can have their own recycled bin uh, directories and so this one uh, specifically the zip file is located uh, under this volume It is also important to know that once you jump uh, to the location, you can actually return back to the area where we were in the case by using the back button. Those are very uh, nice uh, uh, ways to navigate uh, the system. All right, so uh, back to our recycled bin content uh, of the extracted items. So the question is, uh, what was likely the original name of the file? And uh, of course, uh, uh, this, uh, once again, uh, we can uh, try to use the results area. And obviously, the suggested path to the original item, vcpw.txt, uh, would be, uh, would be uh, the, the most likely name. Uh, for this so we can just copy again this information and uh, paste it right here as our answer you can use either uh, name of the file or the entire path so uh, this is a, an interesting uh, module to explore and gives you extremely rich content of uh, uh, of different areas uh, that also includes information about the operating system present on the computer whenever available if the operating system files are present um, in this image like we have right here so i'll just uh, encourage you to click around the various areas that were extracted and just see uh, what kind of information is available